Hello everybody, today we will speak about computational genomics, specifically uh, DNA sequencing and how to simulate it. I am from Belgrade, Serbia. I am doing this for my master studies at the School of Electrical Engineering. Uh, at the end of the day we want to simulate Illumina pair then sequencing. In short, it consists of uh, chopping up the DNA into smaller fragments and then uh, writing down those those short sequ sequences in pairs that's why it's called pair then uh, sequencing so uh, at the input of our system there will be some source referent genome files that should be uh, separated into smaller sequences also called at uh, as reads and there should be uh, alignment info on uh, how to those reads should be reassembled to the referent uh, sequence. Uh, so uh, we will create a Python script that will take a FASTA file as an input uh, where is written those original uh, sequence and we should take uh, two parameters that is coverage and mean quality so we'll, we will know how to generate uh, the uh, read files uh, too because they are pairs. Uh, we will also create the alignment uh, info in the SAM format so we can test the third party alignment uh, software. Also we will want to uh, write out some useful info for the user at the Python console. I will not dive into the code here but you are more than welcome uh, to download it from the public GitHub repository. Uh, main points are our uh, main file that interacts with the user is sexim.py. It routes the processing either to the sequencer or to the comparator. Uh, the sequencer creates random numbers and from random posi positions reads uh, <laughs> small reads yeah, pun intended, um, and writes them into two FQ files. When we have our alignment file, we can compare it with the comparator to the uh, other alignment files generated by third-party software, so we will know the quality of that software. Uh, the, in this presentation there is an example run, uh, but I will uh, do this uh, right now, run here. I will run uh, this program uh, and now it welcomes me and it asks for the name of the source uh, genomic sequence. Uh, there, there are three in the repository. We will um, take our shorters because the processing is uh, the fastest. So the name of the source sequence is uh, this. The average quality let's say 70 and coverage of exactly 1. Now it said that uh, there are about 700 lines and about 50,000 nucleotides and with the coverage uh, it says that it should create uh, 570 reads and that uh, that is done we can take a look at our folder and there are uh, two FQ files. Now there is other part of the program it asks us uh, to, pro to compare our alignment file. Yes we want to do that but currently we do not have that file and we will uh, produce it. Uh, three things we will need are those reads and the referent sequence. We will use the BWA BWA MEM software. I will do it in the virtual uh, virtual workstation bec because I have downloaded the pre-built uh, BWA kit. I will uh, work in terminal but first let's paste them. There are two steps that need to be taken to use the, this software. Uh, first we will index uh, the referent sequence like this uh, yeah it's fast because 
we have our short very short fast file and now we will do this alignment we will first say on wh what sequence they should be aligned and then mention the reads uh, read 1 and the read 2 and we will specify how our output alignment file uh, should be called yeah it's done there is this file I will copy it uh, back to my working directory uh, like this and now we'll proceed with our Python script uh, it wants to know the file name of the alignment file that should be tested like this and there are results first in console it says that about 2% uh, of the alignments are done wrongly and we uh, have our pop-up with a graph that that specifies how far are the alignments from the true ones uh, we will take a look at only uh, the big spikes which are very few comparing to the size to the number of the alignments done uh, so uh, upon this we can say also by the percentage that BWA mem uh, works very well so back to our presentation uh, on the next slide we have the instructions for working uh, with the BWA and that will be all